Yo, what is up you guys? It's the Deem and welcome back to another video. So, of course guys, I am back. I have not made a video for doing Blender tutorials in a very long time. So, here we are back in another Blender tutorial. So, for this tutorial, we are going to be talking about how we can create a really good studio lighting. So, that studio lighting will be very professional looking let's get straight to this tutorial all right so let's just open a new blender file let's just select the um light and the cube delete them and let's get a car so for the car i am using a corvette c7 z06 let's shift a uh, click plane scale it big somewhere like this and move it like that Go to the edit mode, edit these two, um, those two edges, extrude them to Z axis. Add two loop cuts on each sides. So like this, yep. All right, go to the modifier and let's add a modifier and um, add the subdivision surface. Crank it to four. There we go. And shade smooth. All right, so let's set up the camera. Let's move the camera to get a better position. So let's just do something like this. So like camera, let's change the focal length to 70 because 70 looks very professional looking. <laughs> so yeah. So let's go to the um, viewport shading. And for the plane, um, we are going to create a new material and do it black or white. But for this video, we are going to choose black. All right, so let's install one add-on. So go to edit, preferences, add-ons, and search up blender kit. All right, um, 3D view blender kit online asset library now. I'm using a Blender uh, 3.4. It might not show up on your search, but um, I will put the add-on in the link in the description so you guys can check it out and install the add-on. So once you install it, find it where you locate it and then check mark it, save, and you'll have this add-on. So it should be right in the search bar right here. Let's go to the find HDRIs and look up studio light. All right, there should be like so many like free ones. And let's select this HDRI, so just hit okay. And of course, switch it to cycles because it gives the best um, realistic look. And this is the result for now on. Yep. Now let's go ahead and adjust the lighting in the studio scene. So let's do it. So for the plane, right? Set the roughness at one and the metallic at one. So now let's add some more light to it. So let's go, let's go to the world properties and crank the strength to 1.5. There we go, much better, all right? We are not done yet because we need to add so many things to create the most realistic looking car lighting here. So here's how I do it, all right? So first, let's just take a nice render test. So before we do that, let's go to the compositing, use nodes. Let's add the denoise, so denoising data. Shift A, denoise, and let's add some nice simple glare. So, glare uh, from so click Strix and choose fog glow, and from medium to high. All right, very nice. So, let's hit render. And let's lower the 
and let's throw over the render samplings to 300 well i have a very good gpu i'm using a geforce rtx 3070 turbo if you guys have like a slow pc then i would put it at 100 so yeah anyway let's hit render all right so here's the first render test um for me I do like it, well, however, it's not the best looking lighting, so let's make it twice as better. So, image, let's save it. Save it, let's just call it render improve. And save it to whatever you want. Because we are jumping to Photoshop. So here we are at Photoshop. Now let's make this render look better. So let's make this render look twice as better. Go to the filter, go to the camera raw filter. Let's just say that you have this, right? Go to the basic and under texture, there's a clarity. Raise it up on high like this and look at this. It looks freaking good. You can tell the difference. Here's, okay, so here's before and here's after, boom. But I would put it at 70 or somewhere around like 60. And this looks nice, so freaking nice. Textures, raise it up on like 35, dehaze it. You can do it like this, like this, but that looks ugly. So I'm going to put it nice and dark at nine. And then you guys can play around the um, exposure, contrast. But the thing is that the texture and the clarity, they are, those two can really help you a lot with lighting, rendering. So, and let's use the vibrance to make, to have like a nice bluey look. If you're using a silver looking card, then I would do that. Let's say, okay. And boom, here it is, so much better and so much accurate. Now let's add some nice um, glare. So search for headlight glare PNG and um, I found this and I really like it. So, and here it is. So let's adjust it, um, go here, click normal to And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, I hope that this is like helpful to you guys. Um, if you guys want to see more tutorials about animation or other stuff, then let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to make this tutorial for you guys so you guys can learn and get better at it. Well, yeah, if you guys have like any questions, concern or any ideas for the tutorial then let me know or dm me on my instagram you guys can always like send me a message and yeah guys peace out